सो है वह सब गायज होप यू गायज आर गुड एंड टू इंग्रेड सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू इंस्टॉल अ ग्रामर प्लीज हाउ यू कैन टॉक विद डिस्पैच इन गेम इन एल एस पी डी एफ आर सो प्लीज़ डोंट स्किप एनी पार्ट ऑफ वीडियो वॉच टेल एन एंड वॉच केयरफुली सो वी जस्ट नीड टू गो ऑन गूगल एंड यू कैन जस्ट टाइप ग्रामर प्लीज एंड इट विल पॉप अप सो जस्ट क्लिक ऑन इट ग्रामर प्लीज and please don't uh, skip any of part so you can install perfectly and it it will work perfectly i will give the link in the description of the grammar please and other thing we need rage native ui so i give the both link in my description and i will give uh, my discord link as well in my description so if you have any question or anything you can join my discord and you can ask me so just hit the download button so agree and download so here we what we need to do we need uh, uh i mean this is if you see this is updated february 25 2022 so this is the latest one we have to download the latest one just click on do download and this page will pop up you have to wait 5 seconds and it will start download so i i already have uh, downloaded so i am going to cancel this so i don't need actually so for now just uh, let me show you how to install uh, Uh, grammar please and then i will tell you what to do with the rage native ui so this is rage native native ui is also important so just uh, we have to find a main game directory first just click on a so my game is if you are playing on steam epic or rockstar so my game in uh, c drive and you know where your game is but if you have installed in uh, c drive so pathway will be same if you install from steam so just uh, click on uh, local disk c uh, sorry program file x x86 and we have to find a steam just click on steam then scroll down and find a uh, steam apps so here here is the steam apps common grand theft auto 5 so this is my main game directory as you can see i have everything installed so what we have to do we have to open a grammar please which we downloaded from a google just double click on it and you can see there is a two we need those two folders texture and grand theft auto v so just uh, double click on grand theft auto v and what we have to do here we just have to drag and drop all those stuff like that just drag make sure you drag in a buffer zone don't drag in any folder just in main game directory just click, select them all and drag and drop in main game directory like that so it's going to ask me for replace because i have already everything already installed so i am not going to do replace so if if they say replace for you or you installing for first time it won't say replace so i am going to say you can go and hit the replace button but i think it, it don't ask for a replace if you install it for the first time so we are done with the grammar police now so like that our files are installed so next step we have to install our textures so this is a texture this there is a readme file if you want to follow if you know how to install stuff and how to follow a pathway if you don't know i will show you how to install uh, textures you can follow my pathway so just uh, hit, hit the open iv and click on windows so here is the thing we have to find a like if you see in my mods folder so this is the imported thing you have to do if you see there is a x64c uh, folder in my mods folder might you don't have this folder but if you don't have this folder just uh, open the main page of open iv and you can find down the like uh, a left cor a left bar there is a x64a b and there is x x64c just click on it and it will says here like in a red thing they say copy to mods folder or move to mods folder if i click on hold on hold on so this is a c so x click on x64c and there is on a top it shows a in a red, in a red color 
copy to mods folder just hit copy to mods folder then you are good to go click on then uh, if you can follow from here but it's better if you come back and click on mods then go in x64c okay levels gta5 props and here we have to label devs and v mini game rpf so again guys you can see on the top follow this pathway gta5 mods x64c levels gta5 prop level the v mini game so if we see a readme file they say the same stuff like mods x64c levels gta5 prop level the v mini game so we are on the right place so just select those two files prop c id police ytd and plus high ytd just select them and drag them um, uh, drag and drop them here and make sure you you guys can see i i am unable to drop those files because i don't uh, turn on the edit mode so make sure your edit mode is on so make sure your edit mode is on so just drag and drop in uh, this folder like that so if even the open iv won't allow you and you unable to drag and drop just do a simple thing drag and drop on on your desktop then from desktop pick them and drag and drop into open iv so we are done with this now we have to go back in main game directory where we install it up so we are now in main game directory just go to plugins lspdfr so here is a grammar police folder so this is also important guys otherwise your grammar police will won't, not work just double click on it i am just uh, like if you you guys uh, can see there is a custom file in my grammar police so so if you install for first time you don't have this file so you have to make this file oh, hold on i will going to drag and drop on the desktop like yeah you can see when you open the folder it your folder will be like that so just uh, click on default folder default uh, i mean i and i just copy and just paste it again yeah so it says default copy so just click on it and rename it rename this file like we need to rename custom cus just like that so we made a custom file double click on it so make sure your uh, agency code is uh, code generic and everything language english as you can change the language too but i prefer the english so it will work perfectly so call sign as you, this is your call sign in your game so you can change it but for now let's uh, keep the call sign for now i'm going to drag my file again so keep the call signs like same so so our grammar police is just everything set up now we have to install a rage native ui this is the main part of uh, for like even even you play other stuff and uh, things like in lspdf for rage native uh, ui is imported for all files so just uh, go on google or you can just click on my link in the description it will bring you on this page just click on rage native ui zip just download it yeah so just download open and you have to just drag and drop those two files rage native ui xml rage native ui dot dll just drag and drop to your main game directory like that it will save for me a replace just i will replace it for you guys so like that just drag and drop those two files rage native ui so if you install this your game will not crash if you don't install your game will crash so now let's uh, hop in our game and i will show you how to set up okay so now we are in game and uh, when you load uh, lspdfr and all plugins what you have to do you just have to press the control f2 button but control and f2 press the control and f2 button and it will pop up uh, grammar police menu so first thing we go for display setting you can show see the show notification if your player status will be no set to no so you can guys copy my 
setting how i set up if you see on the behind uh, beside of the map when I, I when i show the player status it will pop up here on my uh, like uh, on the right side on the map you can see status status out of out of service so here i change i like if you see the text position you can see i i am moving the text position like right left up and down so anywhere you like to set your text those text thing you can set it so text position is like go left and right this for uh down and up there is a text scale if you want to make it smaller or want to make it bigger you can do it so radio position as well you can see this you can set the radio like you if you see on uh, ma uh, right side on the screen it uh, radio is pop up and i can just adjust him like right left and radio position up and down you can see so this uh, sh so you have to the main thing is here just click on show player status so you can know what are you actually doing your player status is working so i mean you are in which service like out of service on duty and stuff like that so next thing we have to do go to ptt setting so here the hold to talk set to no you have to set to yes click on uh, yes so you can copy my settings like you can see on my screen those are my settings so here is the sound you can, you can hear the sound different sound any sound you like you can set this is a uh, release sound so this is a preference response so i personally like uh, three Sam so D i set D to four. three and you can set how you like but for me it's a uh, uh, preference response set to three and here in display settings sorry guys i i forget one more thing hold on you can just edit the radio position just click on edit radio position it will give you a like a, you can hold your radio with the mouse and you can position it and the other thing is it's all good here so emergency em emergency settings you can go here attempt to in initiate pursuit you can set to yes it's up on it's, it's up to you but personally i like those settings so i just set like that and backup setting air sport investigation on scene you can also follow my setting it's just yes or no so use natives so those also you can set as i said if you want to change it's up to you you can change it so what you have to do there is a uh, save configuration click on save and you are good to go now let's test the diamond police so my call sign is uh, sam44 so your call sign i might i think uh, one link in something like that so you can say your call sign you can say like i say sam44 copy sam44 uh, so you can just say like uh, show me 10 8 10 4 copy see, Sam it says eight, now four. available so if I say like like hold on show me busy 10 4 copy you can say Sam set me eight, set to uh, busy so the the talk button is like on alt button on right side on the keyboard not of uh, left left alt so right side on the keyboard alt button so you can change in your i and i but i pref uh, i personally like alt button so i keep use my alt button so like i say i need backup Copy, we'll get a unit dispatched to your location. See, I, I, I call for Hill, a backup and they send me a backup. Three. The backup just, maybe they are close to us. Yeah, you can see the backup is right here. You can call for a backup and whatever you like. So this is a simple tutorial guys. So make sure hit the like button and subscribe.
as well so if you have any question or anything you can join my discord and let me know there so enjoy for now have a good day